passengers, the Americans are great. Came back to the UK, saw my flying stuff on the board. And there's a windy picture of a little bit of a And uh, we're now one of the Europe Island project pilots. The GA11 is flown by John. until they get into the overhead. The rest of the team as they have actually checked out all their equipment and they're all kind of holding hands. Some are walking backwards, some are walking forward. And what you're seeing now is a main group of six skydivers that are all holding hands and they're coming down at 120 miles an hour. The outside trackers that are tracking away are doing up to 180 miles an hour. So track away, then they'll track back in flight time. Simon Russian, he's the team coach. He's got over 4,000 descents. And the other one with the white smoke is Sergeant Clark Coggill from Elgin, Morrishire in Scotland. Now he will be halfway up the sack. Now they're all looking for this. He's at the bottom of the sack. And Sergeant Clark Coggill, and he is halfway up the sack. The reason for this is they will do a split sack spiral. The half of the team will go one way, and the other half of the team will go the other way, and then they'll come round and join back together. They're still trying to get into side, a toggle on the other. All they do is just pull down on the left, and they go left, or on the right, they go right. So this is an example of it. The split sack spiral. Sergeant uh, Clark Coggill takes the half of the team round one way, and Flight Sergeant Simon Rushton the other way, and they join up again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, they are all showmen. And there's one thing that we must do to a showman, is that's give them a tremendous welcome here today. Now, the people with the cameras, now's the time. To I said all of these uh, skydivers today are all instructed from number one parachute school that flies naughty. And they are responsible for training all airborne forces. Now, to jump out of it. Right, at this point, the aircraft captain has been notified that the last man is down. Ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Air Force Falcons, 1998.
on the wheels. Goes the wind sock. Definitely your Bowser. Right. Which is told. Right. Anyway, it was a pleasure meeting you. I'm really <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously, it's nothing to do with me. Because no, no, no. all we're doing is just sort of. If you had a Royal Air Force uniform on, I would you, not be you, the, you would have beat me. <laughs> yeah. You would have beat me out. So. But yeah, I mean, but. Yeah. But remember, in your letter, BS, the <laughs> Coast Guard was really nice to change. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you later on. We'll get out of your way because this tanker will probably hit us. Like yeah. he's a bad well, driver. He's going to say he can't refuel on the grass. So this is going to be the next thing. Ah, it will be in his SOPs. Oh no, I can't refuel on the grass. Actually, I know it. actually, you might be right. I know. I don't if, know. if that happens, do you need manhandling? Yes. To yeah, that's what I'm because, just thinking. Because there's all sorts of things touching down the fucking back of your <laughs> you're, you're what I call in my school a bit of a cynic. <laughs> we both had it a long time. <laughs> yeah.
play now, take it. No, he's finished going home, mate. Us. Excellent. Yeah. Chris Mobile with some ghost dogs.